We took to the streets of New York City to find out what people really think about service departments or do they think of them at all. Name some hotel brands. The W, uh, Four Seasons, Marriott, Hilton. Hilton, Sheraton, Holiday Inn. A W, Vestin. Uh, we are staying at the Intercontinental Bar Play. Marriott, for sure, Hilton. I like to stay in four and five star hotels, who doesn't? Well, uh, me personally, I like to sleep in a van down by the river, but if, if you like luxury, that's okay. So have you ever heard of the term serviced apartment? Nope. How about corporate housing? N no. No, I haven't heard of that. No, I have not. No. No. I have not. No. Not really. <laughs> no. You've heard of a serviced apartment? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. What do you think a service department is? I'm thinking right now of the um, public transportation system. Am I like off, way off? You've never heard of this segment at all in, this, in, in the sector and you're a consultant and travel almost 50% for business, right? That's correct. Yeah, right. I, I haven't heard about that before. Now at you conference goers, we've got a lot of work to do. You heard of service departments? Yes, sure. You have? Have you ever stayed in any? I did. Wow, that's exciting. What brand was it? Uh, Escort. 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 Okay, great. So we're making we're making progress. We found someone in New York City who has heard of service departments. This is exciting to me. Have you heard of Airbnb? Of course. Of course. What about other companies that do what Airbnb is doing? Nope. No. I really use Airbnb a lot. Um, I like that it's really flexible to book, and I like that the price is always, um, yeah, good value for money. Airbnb, I just like the whole concept about, um, you know, just getting housing however you need it, whenever you need it. I like that uh, that you can have uh, porches, balconies sometimes when you can't otherwise, and you have a lot more privacy. I, want, I like an experience that allows me to still, like, be who I am as opposed to just, like, I'm in, this is just a bed and a TV and a bathroom. What makes you choose an Airbnb over a hotel? Um, if there are more than one of us, it's usually cheaper. It's cheapest way you get in touch with like local people um, who live in the same house. So um, I use Hostel World for booking. Um, I like hostels because I can meet people. So I, I went to Taiwan on my own and wow. I stayed in hostels and I met so many people. Honestly, I will compare the hotel price with the Airbnb price and just choose what's cheaper. Because right. I actually, and, and, where, and where it is in relation to where I want to be. Would you be interested in staying in a place that's more like an apartment than, it, than a traditional hotel room? Yes. What do you like about that idea? I like that it feels more flexible and more private as well. Yeah. Um, I enjoy living like a local, so that's probably why I would choose to live in a typical neighborhood. You could stay in a service department for shorter periods of time and book it online real time. Is that something that would interest you? Yes, sure. Right. Sure. That is my practice too. That would be very attractive to me. There yeah. can be a little bit of sketchiness and scariness about staying in someone else's home right. where you don't know where you're going into. So yes, I would, that would appeal to me. What if I told you that, that this business has been around for many decades right now, but because they're not easily bookable on the internet, you just didn't know anything about them? Oh, that's interesting because I searched the net for interesting things, so I haven't seen that. Okay, now we're going to turn it back to Piers and myself and see what you all have to think about what we just watched.